Hi doctor, I'm here for my annual eye check. Great, it's nice to see you again. Since it's been about a year since your last complete eye evaluation, we're going to dilate your eyes today. Aw oh man, I was hoping this be a really quick appointment. How long do these eye drops take? The medicine doesn't take too long to kick in. Your eyes will be ready about 15 minutes after we get the eye drops in. Okay, I guess let's do it then. That's not too bad. 15 minutes later. All right, let's look at your eye. Oh, the, it looks like the medicine didn't work fully. I think we're going to have to do the drops one more time. What do you mean? How do those eye drops just not work? Hmm, well, let's see. There are many reasons why eye drops might not work effectively. Let's delve into this a little bit deeper. Have you ever been at your eye doctor's for a dilated eye exam and those drops just didn't work, so you needed to get the drops all over again in your eyes? Or do you use eye drops at home for a condition like chronic dry eye or glaucoma and ever wondered about how effective those drops actually are? Hi, I'm Dr. Roxanne Lee. I'm a cataract and refractive surgeon and a comprehensive ophthalmologist. With this channel, I hope to open your eyes, pun intended, to the field of ophthalmology. And with this knowledge, I hope you can improve your vision and your eye health. This channel offers practical, useful information about your own eyes, as well as fun behind the scenes views of my job and the really cool world of eyes. If you gain anything from this, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to this channel for more. So firstly, how do eye drops even work? Eye drops are topical medications, usually in a liquid form that are applied directly to the eyeball surface. To work effectively and for you to get all of that good benefit from the medication, your eyeball surface needs to be exposed adequately to that medication. This relies on two factors, dose and time. Dose refers to how much medication is reaching the surface of the eye. Is enough of the medicine actually coating the eyeball surface to do what it needs to do? The second is time the time of exposure of that medication onto the eyeball surface. It needs to be sitting on the eye long enough for everything to soak in and for the medicine to get where it needs to go. So let's talk about dose first. One drop, the volume of one drop is usually enough. So the volume of one drop is about 0.05 milliliters or 50 microliters. And this is about three to five times the volume of liquid that your eyeball can actually physically hold. So it's pretty safe to say if you're getting that drop in the eye and it actually makes it in, you're getting an adequate dose. Usually if you're not getting an adequate dose, it's because that medication is not actually making it into your eye. There are a lot of different reasons why people will have difficulty getting drops in the eye, and we'll go over some practical tips on how to get around these barriers. Mobility and coordination issues can make it difficult for people to aim and get that drop in the eye, but simple tools like an eye drop guide can help a lot with that. These can be found online and are an easy way for people to take some of the guesswork out of the aim that's required to get that little drop into the eyeball. Another tip is to cool the medication down in the fridge. Stick that bottle in the fridge, and then when you're ready to use it, you can very easily feel if that medicine, that cool liquid got into the eye surface, or if it's actually running down your cheek because you missed and you need to do the drop one more time. One final last resort option is for people who are afraid of getting too close to their eyes and they just really don't like having to touch the eye, pry the eyelid open, or come really close with an eyedropper bottle. So this technique involves you lying down on your back, you close your eyes, and then you just take your eye drop and drip a little bit of that medicine into the corner of your eye here with your eyes still closed. Then you withdraw your hand safely and at your own pace, open your eye gently so that when the eye opens, that drip will slowly make its way into the corner of your eye and, and onto the eye surface. So this is not an optimal technique because less than the full drop, less than the full dose of the medication will make it into the eye, but you know, it's better than nothing. Now let's consider the second factor involved in eye drop effectiveness, time of contact on the eyeball surface. The most common culprit by far of eye drops just not working as they should is that they're not staying on the eye surface long enough. You could be doing everything perfectly, getting your eye drops on schedule, 
putting the eye drop in the eye, aiming perfectly, only to mess everything up by removing it too quickly from the eye surface by doing one of these three very common mistakes. The first mistake is the most common one by far. Are you using a tissue after you put your eye drop in? So we know that the volume of the liquid involved in one drop is more than the volume that the eye can physically hold. So it makes sense that when you put that drop in the eye, there's going to be a little bit of overflow and spillage down your cheek. Okay, so you're allowed to use a tissue to get those tears to catch that drippage, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do this. Let's look at an example. This eye drop is tinted yellow and fluoresces under blue light so that it's easier for us to see. Here, you can see that blotting the eye with a tissue, even very gently, removes a lot of medication from the eye. You should avoid blotting the eyeball surface, the eyelids, and even your eyelashes immediately after using an eye drop. This is because when you make contact with the tissue and the eye drop, it will act like a very effective wick to just draw all of that moisture, including that medicine that you just put on, from the surface of your eyeball, off of the eye, onto that tissue. And now you don't have that medicine on the eye to do its job. This is the wrong way to use tissues. Instead, if you put that drop in and you have some spillage, you can blot all you want with the tissue down here past your cheekbone, but leave the eyeball and the periocular area, the eyelids and eyelashes, leave those alone. The second mistake is something a lot of people do without even thinking about it. When they put an eye drop in, they very naturally squeeze their eyes shut. It's almost like a cathartic response, especially when those eye drops are one of those very stingy, burny ones that we give you in clinic. You know those. However, please resist the urge to squeeze your eyes because when you squeeze, all of that medicine just gets squished out of the eyeball surface and all over your eyelids and your eyelashes. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to help with what it's supposed to do. And it's just going to mess up your eye makeup. So when you get those drops in, don't squeeze. Just instead, close your eyes gently and be calm. A third eye drop technique mistake is excessive blinking. So this one is a little counterintuitive. And even I used to do this back before I learned more about eye anatomy when I used to use eye drops myself. So you might think that once you put the drop in, you wanna blink your eyes to spread all that medicine where it needs to go. However, this is not what you wanna do. Okay, let me tell you why. When you blink, the muscles that are responsible for closing and opening your eyelids actually surround a pump mechanism that functions to drain the tears from your eyeball surface down into your nose. So this is why when you cry, you get a runny nose. When you blink and you're activating those muscles, you are actually actively pumping all of that fluid off of your eyeball surface into your nose. So you're draining it more quickly away from the eye, which is where it needs to be to do its work. So now that we've talked about all the things you should not do when you put the eye drops in, let's talk about what you do do. So when you put the drop in, just keep it simple. Close your eyes gently, no squeezing, no blinking, no tissues, no rubbing, and just sit there and pretend like you're taking a 10 second nap and just let your eye marinate in that medication. All right, so to wrap up, we've talked about several common mistakes people make when putting eye drops in that can really impair the effectiveness of those medications that you're using. We've also talked about several ways you can improve your eye drop technique, easy at home practical ways. First, don't use tissues right after using your eye drops. So I would wait at least like 10 to 20 seconds before you go at your eye with a tissue. Second, Try not to squeeze your eyes shut. Even if that drop is a little uncomfortable, resist the urge to squeeze. And third, just don't blink so much after using eye drops. You really don't want to waste all of your hard work and pump all that fluid off of your eye into your nose. Instead, go ahead, put that drop in, aim well, and then sit back, relax, close your eyes for about 10 to 20 seconds, just be zen and be there.